Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we are embarking on class 15. We're halfway through our 30 day love yoga challenge. How amazing is that? And today's class has one of my most favorite themes and that is purpose. After we descended into the valley and we explored the depth of our soul we searched within we searched in we looked at our shadow or the hidden aspects of ourselves and also we were in the dark of the night we were in the valley before we the ascension to the mountain so we had this contemplative time where we could search within and see what we value and also search for what we are here for why we are here why did we come here on earth and usually we have a deep sense of purpose within. It doesn't have to be defined. For some people it is defined and for some people it's very vague, but it's there, it's deep within. If we quiet down, we can feel it deep in the gut. And once we start searching, once we start quieting down, exploring, learning about ourselves, we can define our purpose. It is uh, also just the way we are, our purpose also evolves with us. So once we find it, that doesn't mean we're there. We are just on the journey and we continue evolving along with our purpose. But try to quiet down today during the class and just breathe and allow yourself to understand the concept of being here so that you can fulfill your purpose and oftentimes that means we have to step out of the mundane about and we have to step into the magical we have to see the world through the eyes of a child we have to see the magic all around us and we have to search for the fire within and that fire is usually our purpose the thing we most care about all right are you ready to flow with strength and ease begin at the front of the mat roll the shoulders back and drop them down today we'll do a strong yoga flow vinyasa flow full body flow focus on your breath and withdraw your attention from the external into the textures the sensations of the poses and experience your body feel get into the body get out of the head out of the mind that's we won't find healing or answers there and get into the body and let's take the tailbone just slightly under so that we're engaging the lower ba uh, belly and lifting up pulling in and lifting up begin to take nice deep inhalations followed by complete exhalations shifting slightly back stacking the joints on top of each other for a moment and feel the weightlessness of this alignment here just feel the the pose standing tall inhale your hands over the heart and ask yourself a question you don't have to answer the question but ask yourself what is my purpose what is my purpose what am i here to do how am i supposed to serve how can i fulfill my deepest needs All right, let's bend the knees and sit back chair lift over the head and sit i'm gonna sit sit deeper today a little deeper a deep chair lifting the chest hold with strength smile find grace in the pose exhale straighten the legs folding forward 
Let's bring the hands on the shin bones. Inhale, look ahead of you. Step back, plank. Press the heels away from you. Pull the belly in. Squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline. Drop the chest between the shoulders. One straight line, spread the fingers as wide as you can. Lower down Chaturanga and either take a Cobra or an upward facing dog. Lengthen the back of the neck and downward facing dog. You can walk in place here. Lifting the tailbone as high as you can. The knees can be bent. The heels can be off the floor. As a matter of fact, they are probably off the floor for at least half of you. So it is okay to have the heels off the floor. Totally fine. Just focus on lifting the tailbone high. Pulling the belly in. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, press the back heel away from you, high lunge. Left hand on the floor, spin the right arm up, twist. Exhale down, step it back, plank to chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, exhale the right hand down, spin the left arm up, hands reaching away from each other, exhale down, plank, to chaturanga, to upward facing dog or cobra, Extending the tailbone down, down dog, breathe. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, drop the back heel down and come up where you want. <clears throat> We're going to straighten the lead knee. Open towards the left hips facing or pelvis facing the left and now bend the knee, the right knee, take warrior two. Turn the right hand up, palm of the hand facing up, walk the left hand down, reverse warrior. Exhale, right elbow over the right knee or right hand on the floor side angle lengthening both sides of the torso here you can go a little deeper in this lunge bending the knee a little more keep the knee over the ankle reaching over the head with the left hand keep opening the left rib cage exhale down Bring both hands on the inside of the right knee. Walk your left leg further back. Feel that stretch. All right, step it back. Plank to Chaturanga, to up dog, to down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through. Come up, warrior. One, here the hips are facing forward. Feel the pose, feel your alignment, feel the position of your hips. Internally rotating the right hip. There is an imaginary spiral of energy starting from the hip and spiraling down into the heel. So we are pressing the heel down. It doesn't have to be on the floor, but that is the energetic direction of the pose. Then there is a spiral up into the hands. 
softening the chest. Great, straightening the leg. Now you can step out of here. Step the right foot further back, a little wider stance here. Take warrior two. If you look forward, your knee is going to be directed forward, softening the rib cage, softening the hands. So we're not putting a lot of effort here, but we're doing this with grace and softness. Let's turn the left palm up, walk the right hand down the right leg, lift and lengthen. Exhale, side angle, either elbow over the knee or hand on the floor. Lengthen here, open the rib cage. Reach over the head. Exhale, both hands down and keep your hands on the inside of the left leg. Take a little stretch here. Walking that right leg further back. Feel the hip flexors relaxing, hips opening. Great. Step it back. We're just touching upon stretches and moving through. Inhale, open the chest. Cobra or rock dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through and let's take warrior two directly, hips opening towards the left side of the room. Let's reverse the warrior. Here you can take the left hand back and around and grab either the inner thigh on the right side or just the shirt, the pants really lifting through the fingertips. Exhale, side angle. Reaching over the head, you can have your elbow over the knee. Now big transition here, so do as much as you can, look down towards the floor and we're going to bring the left hand a few inches, 6 to 12 inches in front of the right foot, taking the back leg off the floor and now taking the right arm up, spinning here, revolved half moon, lifting that back heel up. How is this for you? So right foot down, left hand down, right arm up. Great. From here, both hands will grab onto the floor or you can bring the right hand around the calf, left hand on the floor and take the left leg up. This is called standing half splits. Doesn't have to look like splits, but that's the name. All right. Pull the belly in and come up to standing. Good. Standing. Here we're going to wrap the left leg around the right, left arm forward, right arm up, cross, wrap around, lift, and soften the back of the shoulders. Beautiful. Unwrap, hands over the heart, come up to standing and take the left leg back, parallel to the floor, Warrior three, level the hips, step it all the way back into high lunge. And here we're going to exhale the hands behind us, interlacing, open the chest, look up, walk the hands down the left leg. Exhale, folding forward, forehead towards the right ankle. This is called Humble Warrior. Great, release the hands down on the floor. Step it back, plank, chaturanga, 
up dog, down dog. Inhale the left leg up. Step it through between the hands. Drop the back heel down. Open the hips over towards the right. Bending the left knee. Come up or ear to directly. And pressing into the outer and inner edge of the back foot. You can keep a mouth bent there. Let's reverse the warrior. Walk the right hand down the right leg and keep the left knee bending. Reach and lengthen. You can bring the right hand back and around, wrapping, softening the shoulder. Great. And side angle, either elbow over the knee or left hand on the floor. Keep opening the right hip, externally rotating here. Reaching over the head, right hand all the way over the head. Keep opening the right rib cage. Press into the outer edge of the right foot. Good, look down and here we're going to bring the right hand on the floor. Take the right leg up, left arm up, flex the foot, lift, revolving half moon. Let's bring both hands down, standing half splits. Lifting the right leg up. Even if it's just parallel to the floor, that's fine. Pull the belly in, bend the left knee and come up to standing. Wrap the right leg around the standing leg. Let's bring the right arm up, forward, left arm up, cross, wrap. Lift the elbows, soften the backs of the shoulders. Release, hands over the heart, warrior three. Level the hips, bring the back leg parallel to the floor, right leg. Step it back all the way to high lunge. Exhale the hands behind you, interlacing, open the chest. Lower down, humble warrior, forehead towards the ankle, soften. Exhale, both hands down. Step it back. Plank to Chaturanga to up dog to down dog. Let's inhale the right leg up, step it through, press the back heel away from you, come up high lunge, hands in prayer. Again, coming back to the intention for the class, quieting down, maybe asking the question, but not necessarily demanding an answer, searching within, what do we most care about, what is that makes us tick, that we burn for. 
what is it? Can we serve it more in our day-to-day -day life? Can we serve that burning fire, that purpose more? Lengthen and twist. So left elbow comes on the outside of the right knee. If that is really hard, then you can just twist with the hand to knee here or give it a go. This really works on the gut and we're trying to access the gut. Twisting really good for digestion, but also for softening the gut. Great, exhale down, step it back. Plank, strong core, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Inhale the left leg up, step it through, press the back heel away from you, come up high lunge, extending the tailbone down, feeling the strength of the pose, feel it, feel the body. Hands in prayer, lengthen through the crown of the head first, find length, crown of the head all the way into the heel, one strong long line, once you find length, then exhale and soften the belly. And you will see how much more space there is for the twist. Keep pressing the back heel all the way back away from you. Try not to twist the foot, but keep it straight up. Breathe. Exhale down. Step it back. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Down Dog. Let's walk the hands to the back of the room, to the legs, bend the knees. Wrap your wrists around the elbows, give your spine a break. Let your body hang heavy here. Great, bend the knees, pull the belly in, straighten the back, chair pose. So now here, we're going to walk to the front in chair, lower down, step into plank, give me 10 knee tucks, one, two, pull the belly in, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press into down dog, walk to the back of the room, moving through a forward bend, take chair, walk to the front, in chair, belly in, booty back, exhale down, step it back in plank, one, two knee tucks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make them count. Down dog and walking the hands all the way back. Chair, straight back. Walk, keep the booty back. Let's pause here in chair. Push back, push back, good. Exhale down, plank. Knee tucks, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And walk it back. Hands to the feet. Chair. Let's walk to the front. Pause in chair and go a little deeper. Taking the tailbone under. <clears throat> Exhale down and plank. How are you doing? Breathe. Knee tucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10 and walk it back. Chair. Walk to the front. Good job, keep the booty back. Sit a little deeper. Tuck the tailbone a little more. Exhale down, plank, knee tucks. Pull the belly in, knees to the rib cage. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down dog. Walk it back, chair. Walk to the front. Sit deeper. Lower down into a squat. How's your squat? Very good. From here, <clears throat> we're going to sit on the body and lay onto your left side, forearm on the floor, lifting the left leg in the air. The hips are somewhat above each other, but you can bring the right hip a little further back. So we're not exactly on the side, we're slightly on the body and the hip in between. And we're going to bring the knee to the elbow so that we're working here on the inner thighs, which is really important as a part of the pelvic alignment. And that's why I'm including it as a fun little pose. It is not very difficult, but really squeeze. Squeeze the belly, you feel the inner thighs working. One, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. One, open the elbow back, two, three, four, and five. Very good. And roll onto your other side. And same alignment. You can lower onto the entire arm or stay onto your forearm and really squeeze the belly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Great. Roll onto your belly and bring the hands underneath your shoulders elbows into the rib cage come up in a cobra extending the tailbone down and keeping the elbows bent lengthen the back of the neck sit back in child's pose tuck your toes under down dog inhale the right leg up Step it through, warrior two. We're stretching the inner thighs. We just worked the inner thighs. 
straightening the lead knee hinging at the hips here reach way ahead of you lower down right hand to right shin bone keep opening the left hip extending the tailbone down really lengthen here reach over the head exhale down plank chaturanga up dog down dog inhale the left leg up step it through warrior two and feel the alignment you can close your eyes for a moment feel mostly hips and shoulders is where you can soften a little open a little lengthen a little tailbone is lengthening straightening the lead knee hinging at the hips here press the hips back lower down use your leg here sometimes we get caught up in props but really you can keep it very simple very minimalistic your practice just your body and your breath <sighs> exhale down plank press your heels away from you and hold it for a moment you're doing good you're strengthening your core I'm challenging you today I know and lower down onto your belly inhale cobra great from here roll onto your side one more time the way we did last time only this time we're going to bring either both knees or one knee to elbow so either right elbow to right knee or you can bring them both in a side crunch which also involves the inner thighs as well it's really working on the core and on the obliques one two three four five six seven eight nine ten either rest or five more one two three four five <coughs> roll onto your other side and let's go 15 more 10 to 15 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five lay onto your back and we're gonna go for a few pelvic tilts since we're strengthening the pelvis today so just mild pelvic tilts bring the lower back on the floor extend the tailbone lifting the hips just slightly off the floor and release and a few more of those you can engage your kegel muscle mula bandha this really strengthens not just the pelvic floor and the hips and pelvis but the lower belly it tones the urinary system the reproductive system digestion elimination assimilation all of that good stuff that's governed by the gut a few more keep moving so the hips are lifting just slightly off the floor we're lowering pressing the lower back into the floor extending the tailbone down which lifts the hips slightly engaging mula bandha releasing beautiful and we'll transition into bridge pose palms of the hands facing each other feet parallel to each other hip width apart press your shoulders down and lift your hips high now bridge pose relax the chest and shoulders 
you can support your hips here with your hands or you can clasp under shimmy the shoulders walk your chest towards the chin you can press the four corners of each foot down and lift the toes up lift 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 this should feel intense great release and grab the outer edges of your feet or your ankles wherever you can reach press the knees down by your ribcage this is a hip opener releases the lower back and it is a happy pose after all it's a silly happy pose great hands behind the knees rock up to sit it spread your legs out and let's flex the feet pull the toes in towards you and walk your hands in front of you in a forward bend inhale come up and let's bring the right elbow on the inside of the right knee reach over with your left hand opposite side one more time opposite side one more time change coming out of this face your right leg a little bit of a twist here and lower down Come up, opposite side. Walk to the center, hands in front of you. Keep flexing the feet. Beautiful. Now, I'll bring the attention to your hips and sitting bones. So see if when you walk forward, you, your body is rolling forward and legs rolling forward. Try to have your knees pointing up towards the ceiling. Ground your body down and now walk away from your hips. Good. All right. Bring your legs just halfway in. Shake, shake, shake. Closer in, shake, shake, shake left foot on the inside of the right thigh lower down here with a straight back you can open the chest lengthen the spine lower down and the opposite side great from here we're going to bring the right foot on the outside of the left knee twist to your right so the chest is facing the right leg bring the left arm up and grab your outer thigh look past your right shoulder keep lengthening through the crown of the head inhale forward opposite side reaching up flexing the foot exhale and twist coming up soles of the feet together open the knees out release walk yourself 
into squat somehow. Squat is, this squat is deep pose. If you can do it, take advantage of it because we're stretching the three major lower body joints here, releasing the lower back and making sure that we age with mobility and strength and grace and flexibility. Keeping the legs working and giving them adequate attention. All right, straighten the legs, forward fold. You can hug your, grab your calves here. Let's bend the knees. Chair, our friend. Inhale, coming out of this. Press the hands together. Reach over to one side. Try to keep everything in the same plane. So if you have a wall behind you, you have both your shoulders, both hips on the wall. Opposite side. Really lengthen here back to center let's go over to the left press your right foot down so feel that stretch feel that length look up back to center opposite side back to center one more time and again Great, release the hands by the hips, palms of the hands facing forward, chest open, relax the shoulders. Let's bring the hands over the heart, the way we started the practice, and just take a moment to see how you feel especially in comparison to the beginning of the class, is your body a little more refreshed, feeling lighter. Paying attention to our passions, the laughs we have for things because that's the guiding light towards our purpose what do we most care about in life we carry that purpose in our soul beyond this body this is something that is with us for a long time it's been with us it will be with us we're accessing something that's already there we're not discovering something new, but we are remembering who we are, what we're here for. And let's open the eyes. Look over your right shoulder, chin parallel to the floor. Over to the left, right, left, right, left, center. And you can lower the right ear over the right shoulder, opposite side, really lengthening the neck here. One more time. And I'll give you something to finish off the class. That's one of my favorite things hands on the hips and we're gonna exhale i'll demonstrate it for it we'll exhale and hollow the belly so that's a stomach vacuum it really helps with all the above mentioned things lower back health digestive health reproductive urinary system health but also with accessing our gut feeling that gut feeling so let's exhale and as we exhale we'll hollow the belly Great, hands on the hips allows us to, to really have a little better go at it. 
So let's go one more time. Exhale and pause on the top of the exhalation. One more. Inhale and we are done for today. Thank you all for joining me for this full body vinyasa. I cannot wait to see you tomorrow with another class. Let me know how this went for you. Let me know if you know what your purpose is or if you have a, just a feeling that there is a strong purpose as to why you are here or if you're just still searching and have no idea what you're supposed to do. Just let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember to flow with strength and ease.